Crop circles are not something new. They have actually been documented since the 1600s, but this might be the first time a crop circle has shown up in the shape of a swastika. Hey guys, it's Mikey Chan. A 150 to 180 feet wide crop circle has appeared overnight in a field in Wiltshire located in southwest England. And this time, it was in a shape most of us are familiar with, a swastika. The farmer who tends to that field said he was shocked to find the crop circle and said he had nothing to do with it and of course did not give anyone else permission to create it. Local megalithic researcher and ancient mysteries author Hugh Newman rushed to the scene after seeing it posted on Facebook. Facebook. He took these shots of the crop circle and according to Reuters news, he said, the big trouble of the years is who cut these crop circles because sometimes people don't have a clue how they ended up there and the farmer didn't know. The farmer didn't say much to me, but he was a bit concerned by the symbol and he saw the negative connotation of it when he realized what it looked like. Now, when I saw this news, I wanted to do a couple of things. First of all, this news is really interesting, so I wanted to share it with everybody. Also, I wanted to talk about the swastika itself. When people see this symbol or hear the word swastika, as in this case with the farmer, most people automatically think of Nazis were Hitler and see the symbol as a sign of hate and it was when Hitler appropriated it in the 20th century establishing its association with tragedy death and destruction but the symbol itself is ancient with the earliest known swastika found carved on mammoth ivory in the Ukraine around 10,000 BC this symbol was not only found in one ancient civilization but in ancient civilizations all across the world, such as on churches, dishware, graves, and architecture all across Europe. They were found on Aztec and Mayan burial mounds, as well as their clothing and jewelry. It even appeared in Norse mythology. The symbol has a strong connection to Buddhism and is believed to signify the level of a Buddha, with people embracing it throughout history as a symbol of good luck and purity of heart. Even the name swastika, also known as Srivatsa, means something uplifting. In Sanskrit, where it originated, swa means higher life, asti means being, and ka is a suffix. It could be understood as a being with higher self. This is of course until the 1930s and 1940s when it began to become synonymous with anti-Semitism and far-right extremism. And it's really unfortunate that a symbol of eternity and peace is now more associated with something evil. But there are differences between the original symbol and the Nazi design. With the Nazi's version typically colored black black with the arms reversed and tipped to a 45 degree angle. Also, getting back to crop circles, many people nowadays believe them to be man-made, usually as a prank, and some of them are, but there are many others that are completely unexplainable because the way they are cut and designed are too advanced for people who just want to play a prank. And I realized that I've never actually done a crop circle video on this channel before, so besides this one, I'm going to have a comprehensive one coming up really soon. But let me know what you guys think. Do you believe this crop circle is man-made? Thanks for watching, everybody. See you.